This video is on representation theory. In the previous video, we introduced the concept of standard representation of SCN. And in this video, we, we begin with the concept of G invariant uh, subspace. So let phi be a representation that takes G to the general linear group. This is a representation, a subspace W of V, so this is a subspace of a vector space, is G invariant, so invariant for G in a certain way, okay, is G invariant, if phi of G W, phi of, D, phi of, of G W is in the subspace of, in the subspace W of the vector space V. Of course, for all this G is in the group, and this W is an element in the subspace. So if the if the the image of an element in the subspace is still on the subspace, this is a normal concept and a, a basic concept in linear algebra. Okay, so in this case, is the same for representations. Okay, so. If this happens, um, we say that uh, this subspace W is G invariant, okay, or invariant for G will. So this is uh, a G invariant subspace. Okay, now we introduce the concept of direct sum of uh, representations. So suppose we have uh, phi of 1, a representation from the group G to GL9, need to distinguish these vector spaces, I'm going to call this one, 1, and we have a second one, let's call it, we, I call this 1, so 2, that takes from a group G to the general linear, let's call it V2, okay? So the directs, well, let me write external, okay? External direct sum. It will be phi1 uh, plus phi2 that takes us from G, they're all taking from G, to the general linear group of V1 plus V2. And it will be given by F1, phi1, phi2, right, G, and elements in the vector space, right, where this is phi, so this phi of g1, v1, and phi2, right, of g, v2, and I have to close this one, okay? So this is the direct sum of uh, representations. We have two representations and this is how we uh, sum them um, directly. Okay, um, so now the question is what happens in terms of matrices here? Well, th that is important. Um, because we have phi1 taking from G to G L M and this is a representation and we have phi2 that is taking from G to the general linear M group, right? both representations, so we say phi1, 
phi2 takes from g to the general linear. This is m and this is n. So m plus n with complex entries. Okay. Now, how do we do this in terms of um, matrices? Well, it's it's easy. We we use a uh, block matrix. Okay. So what we do is phi one, phi two. Okay. G is given by a matrix like phi G1 0 0 and phi 2 G so you simply use a block matrix for this okay a matrix block okay I think we can see an example for this right and I'm going to use the rotation I used two or three videos ago Okay, I'm going to use the previous examples, right? So phi of 1 take us from this group to the complex non, non-zero complex numbers uh, through phi of 1 takes m to e to the power of 2 pi i m over n and phi, the second uh, representation, take us from this group, the same group uh, to the same complex non-zero uh, numbers, uh, complex non-zero numbers, right? Through phi 2 of m is e to the power of minus 2 pi i m over n. So what is a direct sum? How can I represent the direct sum as we saw before in a block matrix, right? So what we do is this is one and the second one okay so this is phi g of 1 and this is phi 2 of g right just as we saw before exactly like we did here right phi 1 direct sum phi 2 of g is phi 1 of g 0 0 phi 2 of g in a block matrix okay so that's the way we represent uh, direct sums or direct sum of representations if we had if if the group here if in a representation if G um, okay representations this phi they are a special kind of homomorphism right so if the group G is generated by a set X then this representation phi um, we are going to use the values of x that generate a g okay so I'm going to introduce that in the next uh, videos so we are going to use the generators if a group has generators we are going to use that fact